This is a short film introducing the six pathways of carbon fixation by Benjamin Hearn, Sebastian Rukert and Richard Van Downen. Over the Earth's natural history, one process that has become integral to life is the process of carbon fixation. Carbon fixation represents the most important biosynthetic pathway in nature and results in the conversion of assimilated carbon dioxide into cellular carbon. The first mechanism of carbon fixation to be discovered, and probably the most well known, is the Calvin cycle. The Calvin cycle was discovered in the 1940s by Melvin Calvin, and since then five other completely separate mechanisms of carbon fixation have been discovered. This short video will highlight the biochemical pathways of these six mechanisms in addition to the microbial life which uses them. The first cycle discussed is the Calvin cycle. The Calvin cycle was the first known carbon fixation cycle and also the most studied cycle. It starts with three ribulose getting free carbon dioxide and free water added by the most important enzyme in the cycle, Rubisco. The end product is then 6,3-P glycerate which eventually is converted to 6-glyceraldehyde-3-P. One of those molecules is then removed from the cycle and can be used as a precursor for different sugars. The other five glyceraldehyde molecules then complete the cycle by being transformed back into free ribulose 5P molecules. The Calvin cycle is present in all plants as well as in many bacteria including cyanobacteria and non-green sulfur bacteria. The next pathway is the reverse citric acid cycle, also called reverse Krebs cycle, named after the discoverer of the normal citric acid cycle, Hans Krebs. It's called the reverse citric acid cycle because instead of releasing CO2 and producing energy, it fixates CO2 and uses energy. Both cycles look a lot alike, but there are some differences in enzymes because not every reaction is fully reversible. ATP citrate lysase is one of the key enzymes, cleaving citrate into acetyl-CoA and oxaloacetate. Acetyl-CoA is converted into pyruvate and eventually oxaloacetate, which is used further for carbon fixation. The other oxaloacetate molecule is converted to citrate again to complete the cycle. Some of the bacteria that use the reverse citric acid cycle are chlorobiols, and epsilonoproteobacteria. So far, no archaea have been found using the reversed citric acid cycle. The wood young dial pathway is a non-cyclic pathway resulting in the fixation of two carbon dioxide molecules to form acetyl-CoA. The upper part of this diagram shown in red illustrates the variant of the pathway functioning in acetogens. Acetogens use the wood young dial pathway not only for carbon dioxide fixation but also for energy conservation via generation of an electrochemical gradient, a process which ultimately results in the production of acetate. The lower part of this diagram shown in blue depicts the pathway that occurs in methanogens. Methanogens withdraw methyl tetrahydromethan propyterine from the pathway and reduce it via methyl coenzyme M to methane. The final step of the pathway is common to both acetogens and methanogens. It involves another CO2 molecule being reduced to carbon monoxide bound to nickel in the reaction centre of CO dehydrogenase. It accepts the methyl group from the methylated tetrahydropterin via a methylated coronoid protein. It then combines it with CO to form an enzyme-bound nickel acetyl group and releases this group with coenzyme A to form acetyl-CoA.
The wood young dial pathway is preferred by prokaryotes living close to the thermodynamic limit. An example being acetogenic bacteria such as gram positive clostridium and methanogenic archaea such as methanopropius clandularii, which also utilize this form of carbon fixation. The fourth mechanism of carbon dioxide fixation is the Fux Holo cycle or 3 hydroxypropionate cycle. The cycle begins with the addition of CO2 to acetyl CoA. This forms malonyl CoA, which through a series of enzyme driven reactions forms 3 hydroxypropionate and in turn acrylolyl CoA. Subsequent carboxylation of propionyl CoA followed by carbon rearrangement yields succinyl CoA. This triggers a chain of reactions eventually resulting in the production of glycoxylate. However, glycoxylate is not a central precursor metabolite and its conversion to the cellular building blocks requires a second cycle. The Fuchs Holo cycle functions in the green non-sulfur phototrophs of the chloroflexaceae family, which grow preferentially under photoheterotrophic conditions and are commonly associated with hot springs. Although various widespread marine aerobic phototrophic bacteria harbour genes of a rudimentary 3 hydroxypropionate bicycle, the rather limited distribution of the Fux Holo cycle suggests that it was a singular invention and evolved in the Chloroflexaceae ancestors. In the 3 hydroxypropionate slash 4 hydroxybutyrate cycle, acetyl CoA slash propionyl CoA carboxylase fixes two molecules of bicarbonate through conversion of 3 hydroxypropionate. Succinyl CoA is eventually reduced to 4 hydroxybutyrate, which is then activated to 4 hydroxybutyryl CoA. Its dehydration to crotonyl CoA is catalyzed by 4 hydroxybutyryl CoA dehydratase, which is considered the key enzyme of both cycles 5 and 6. Crotonyl CoA is then oxidized to acetyl acetyl CoA and cleaved into two acetyl-CoA molecules, closing the cycle. Examples of species using the HP slash HB cycle are Sophilobus species which grow in volcanic springs with optimal growth at pH 2 and 3, as well as temperatures of 75 and 80 degrees centigrade. This makes them acidophiles and thermophiles respectively. The anaerobic dicarboxylate slash hydroxybutyrate cycle with pyruvate synthase and PEP carboxylase as the two carboxylating enzymes uses a pyruvate synthase to synthesize pyruvate and from there the other central precursor molecules. Succinyl CoA is reduced to 4 hydroxybutyrate, which is then activated to 4 hydroxybutyryl CoA. Its dehydration to crotonyl CoA is catalyzed by 4 hydroxybutyryl CoA dehydratase, which is considered the key enzyme of both cycles 5 and 6. Crotonyl CoA is oxidized to acetoacetyl CoA and cleaved into two acetyl CoA molecules, closing the cycle and generating an additional molecule of acetyl CoA for biosynthesis. Pyrolobus funari grows at the optimal temperature of 106 degrees Celsius and at a pH of 5.5. It is a faculative aerobic obligate chemolithoautotroph. It is supplied with energy through hydrogen, carbon dioxide and some inorganic chemicals. In summary, this schematic phylogenetic tree depicts the distribution of the six carbon fixation pathways among major phylogenetic lineages, 
in both archaea and bacteria. Thank you for listening.